Welcome to the Endless Entrepreneurs YouTube channel. My name is Luke and I am a part-time eBay seller, a part-time real estate uh, investor, and a full-time uh, data consultant in the finance world. <clears throat> so I have kind of all three income streams going and I document those here on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you are uh, coming back and are normally follow, I appreciate your support, appreciate you dropping in. And if you are new, uh, this type of video, I usually uh, cover what I've bought at thrift stores of late, uh, what I think they'll sell for, what I paid for them, and hopes to just help you if you are an eBay seller or any type of reseller, uh, what to be on the lookout for while you're out there. Uh, my dog Thor right now happens to be at my feet. He's a golden retriever, so I apologize if he uh, interrupts at all, but that's what happens sometimes on these live, <laughs> live haul videos. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna check the chat real quick, just to make sure my audio is good. So we got some people filing in. Um, I think my audio is fine, so I'm gonna jump right in. I've got quite a bit of stuff that I found, so I'm going to uh, try to get through it as quick as I can uh, while showing you the tags and you know any things like that. I did have one really, really awesome vintage board game find today. That is not my normal, um, I would say specialty. I really specialize in uh, clothing a lot more than that. So um, I will. Save that for the end because it's a pretty sweet find, and even for me to know about it. And uh, so this is what happens all these videos as Thor brings me his toys, and then he waits patiently for me to throw them. When I say patiently, I mean he hits and claws and pauses as many things as he can until I get annoyed. Oh, we'll see if he's able to pull that out. So I'm going to start with the two pair of shoes I found. Um, <clears throat> so these were Cole Haan Nike Air. Uh, they were just like penny, or they're basically like slip-on loafers. They're not really penny loafers. They're more of like a, a casual loafer, uh, and they are size. I think they're size 10 M, um, and they are the Nike Air. It's been interesting, and you can see that there's a lot of tread life on these. I mean, they're really, really good shape. And sorry, Thor is being obnoxious, so I actually might remove him from the room. So one second. All right, sorry about that, guys. Occasionally, he uh, gets a little excited about when I go live. It's like he just knows that I'm you know, doing a haul video or something and has to be a part of it. But uh, really good tread life on these. I'm getting a little um, concerned about how to keyword these now that we're getting Vero uh, complaints. Or I don't know if it's Vero, but eBay won't allow us to put Nike with Cole Haan, even though that's what it is. Um, but in any other case, it's a 499. I would expect probably 40 plus for these plus shipping, so not too bad. Shoes, I only pick up if I, I know a little bit about shoes. I've been getting better over the, over the this last year since me and Tino, the Soul Advisor, but I'm um, still trying to get better as I go. So these are Spearies. Uh, they're women's, I guess, dude, I think they're pumps, I think would be the right keyword. Again, the tread on these is fantastic. Um, Show those stickers off. But they're in really great shape. Picked these up, $4.99. Not sure what they'll go for. I actually didn't even look at comps, but I just figured that these would probably be all right. Uh, so we'll see how those do. Um, let me keep going here. Now, someone can just let me know in the chat that my audio is good. I uh, wedges. Ah, okay. Thrifty Miser just said wedges. Thank you. My keywords are not very strong for women's shoes. I ended up having to do a lot more research before I list those, whereas men's ones are a lot easier for me. Um, so I got four bags to get through. Gonna dump all these out. It's all good. I haven't I haven't thrifted in quite a while. It's been um, I don't know how long it's been. What is that going on there? <laughs> Sorry guys, got all sorts of weird noises happening, it seems like. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's been quite a while since I've thrifted. I, between closing on the new house, getting the rental house ready to go, uh, it's just been a crazy, crazy uh, ride the last two months. So it was nice to kind of get out there and dedicate some time to Goodwill and sourcing and that type of thing. Uh, found tons of jeans today, that was probably the biggest theme. Uh, these are some 501s, Levi's. I, this is pretty much one of the only Levi's I pick up anymore for men's. Occasionally I'll pick up the 514s, the slimline, um, and I pick up the two super lows in the women's. Those seem to do well for me. These are the button fly. And these are like, they're kind of like a dark maroon. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not. Um, but these do pretty well. I, I pick these up for 499. I usually can get between 25 and 30, including shipping for these nowadays. So not too bad. I uh, picked up these Joe's, kind of like the floral around the band. Joe's jeans, they are the Muse line, uh, M-U-S-E. There's dark blue. Um, we'll see how these do. Joe's have been kind of up and down uh, for me. Some lines seem to move really fast. Other lines just sit forever. Um, but again, 499, I pretty much pick up all of them. 
especially since um, I believe they're out of business now or they've at least filed bankruptcy. So I'm imagining the they're going to become more rare over time. People are going to want them who, you know, got used to certain styles and things they enjoyed. Um, somebody just asked how many stores I hit. I ended up hitting uh, two Goodwills and I picked up a <clears throat> like a mini bulk purchase from a local eBay seller. Um, so he was just getting out of the business and just wanted to liquidate all his inventory. So it was about 125 items. I met him, picked him up. Uh, was good transaction. Really happy to have the inventory. Actually helped a lot for my January sourcing. So pretty much had those three stops. So I don't know how many items I got total here. I spent about 150 bucks while I was um, sourcing. Let's see if the receipts come out of the bags as I'm going through. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty successful day. And actually, I've already listed about 15 items today. And after this video, I'm going to go back and list 15 more. Um, so my goal is to get 30 up today. All right. I'll keep rolling here. So I also found these uh, Lucky Brand men's jeans. Uh, if you guys watch any other haul videos, I love picking up Lucky men's jeans. Um, the I don't know. They just sell really well for me. I mean, I get 30 pretty much $30 plus shipping for these all day long without any trouble. They're size 34. Uh, these actually, I didn't, I didn't see this. These are the vintage straight line. Um, but yeah, they've just always done well for me. I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, picked them up for $4.99. The dark blue seem to do the absolute best. Um, <clears throat> and there's a couple different lines uh, that do better than others. Uh, any of the button fly ones just sell really fast. Uh, I don't pick up, and by the way, I don't really pick up women's Lucky Brand jeans at all anymore. Um, I used to pick those up, but I don't pick them up barely at all. Uh, here's some Seven for All Mankind jeans. These are the straight leg. Um, they are, let's see if we can see them, just dark blue, nothing too fancy. Um, usually get like 30 plus shipping for most uh, Seven Fam jeans. Depends, so, sometimes, it, depending on the condition, I'll do like 25 plus shipping. Um, they definitely come down in the market. They used to be a lot higher, um, but they're still a good jean to pick up. Uh, I think this is the first time ever finding J brand jeans. Uh, comps looked good. I had heard it before from a couple of their sellers and seen it on Instagram. So pretty pretty sure this is a solid pickup, $4.99. Um, looks like most of the comps are solidly in the 30s. So we'll see. They're dark blue. Uh, they're definitely a longer jean. Um, have a little bit of wear at the bottoms, but not too much. So we'll see. Again, all jeans near me are $4.99. I'm super, super lucky. I know. Flat flat prices don't almost don't exist anywhere in the country anymore. <laughs> This is one of the few places, so. Uh, here's some more Seven for All Mankinds. And these are boot cut, and even better, is they're like a darker gray. So I like finding the colored denims. Um, they seem to, these seem to do better for me uh, than some of those, the straightforward ones. Uh, so again, 499, probably, you know, 30 plus shipping for these, hopefully. And a part of my 2018 resolution is um, I'm trying to bump my average sell price up to right around $35. I'm going to be selling a lot more blazers and suits. Um, but one of the things I am going to do is I'm stopping sourcing any items that I think won't sell easily for $25. And I'm going to be marking my stuff a little higher and just sitting out and waiting because I really don't want to get into the volume game anymore, since, especially since now I'm splitting my time with my rental property and soon to be another rental property. I don't really want to increase the amount of items I'm processing and shipping. What I'd rather do is keep it flat, but increase the price of the item so that my sales go up without any additional effort. So that's kind of like, when you hear me say prices, those are like, I'm sitting and waiting for those prices. It's not like I'm pricing them to fly off the shelves. Uh, but all these guests, uh, Los Angeles, Slim, or the Slim Straight, Del Mar Fit jeans, the comps look pretty good for them, they're men's. Um, they look to be like 25 plus shipping pretty easily, but uh, I know the vintage guest stuff does a lot better, but uh, I, I looked at the comps and they seem to do pretty well. Here's your tags. And sorry, I'll do better about showing the tags. I just realized I really haven't been doing that. Uh, it looks like we got 40 watching live, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate the support. Hopefully, you guys uh, see, learned this one brand today you haven't seen. And uh, feel free in the comments to jump in and uh, drop some wisdom in the chat. Love to see it. And Happy New Year to everyone. I see that. Two days away from the New Year. Um, here are, this is the first time I've ever found these. They're William Rast uh, jeans. Let's see, hopefully, you can see that. Um, comps look pretty good. They're Stella boot cut. Uh, looked like I said, 25 to 35 ish. They looked like and pretty easily, um, maybe higher. I had to do a little more research on them. I just quickly looked at it while I was in the store and then in the back of them look pretty decent. Uh, they're a dark blue. They're in great, great shape. Um, so we'll see how those do. Uh, Tino just jumped in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Tino, this is, 
unfortunately, this is from a couple well, oh, back in November now, early November. I had to get this glute shot, and it just really hasn't. It's healed up okay. I keep putting stuff on it to get the scar to fade, hopefully over time. But, uh, Tina, hopefully, uh, I know you just jumped in here. Found these Spearies. I guess they're, uh, they're pump or wedges, what someone said. But I think I'll do all well these. You're in the chat, so I'll rely on you to let me know a price point on these. But Tread Life is real great on them. Picked them up for $4.99. Uh, I touched the wrong side of my face. Yeah, it's, when it's reversed in the camera, it's a little funny. Right, let me keep moving here, guys. I got a lot to get to. I don't want to keep you guys all day. It looks like I just found my first receipt. So $63 spent at one store. It looks like eight, uh, 12, 13 items. This is the first store I found jeans and actually that vintage board game. Keep going with the jeans here. They're just plentiful. Uh, here's the two super lows I referenced earlier, the 524 Levi's. Um, I, I pick these up every time. I've sold a couple. I think I sold two pairs this last month, both at like $24 plus $6 a ship, so almost at a $30 price point. Uh, these just seem to do really well for me. I don't know what it is about that line, but it seems to be popular. I don't pick up the really small sizes, but um, I need like the medium to bigger sizes seem to do really well. Um, all right, more Lucky Brand men's jeans. Again, my favorite. 32 by 30s, and they are, I think they're, I have a fit on here. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Usually they do. Classic straight. So not too bad. Again, probably 30 plus shipping pretty easily. Uh, more Lucky Brand jeans. This is kind of a theme. These are the loose fit and short length, so they should do pretty well, uh, especially with those kind of features. 30 plus shipping, I would guess. Um, here's some more seven for all mankinds. And these are men's with a button fly and they're distressed. So um, I think they'll do pretty well. They're size 30. Um, I'm gonna, with the men's ones, I usually price a little higher. I usually, I'll probably put these at like $39.99 plus shipping. And I don't think I'll have too much of a problem moving them. I might be able to even get higher. I'll have to do a little research on the button fly ones. I don't find those very often. Um, found some Big Star. These are the Casey K Slim Boot uh, Loose Rise Fit. You can see there. So mouthful viewers. A little bit of wear at the bottoms, but not too bad. Um, actually, not bad at all. Um, but again, four ninety nine. Not sure what this specific line will go for, but usually Big Star, I can get 30, 30 plus shipping without too much of a problem. And here is another seven for all mankind. And these are the oh, these are the Kimmy straight leg line. They're just a dark blue. Uh, so we'll see. Not sure on the comps of those, but again, Seven Fam does pretty well. All right, so those are two bags we got through. We'll save this board game here for uh, last. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. But if you don't, you got to wait till the end. All right, here are some shirts. So this one, it's not to resell, but I'm going to wear this on New Year's Eve tomorrow, I believe. We are going uh, out for the but out for the night with a bunch of friends. We got like a little party bus going and. Going to Uptown, so if anyone's in Uptown, maybe I'll see you. Um, but should it should be a good time. Gonna go with purple, with like a purple micro check, dark blue jeans, and a gray like herringbone blazer. I think so. Gonna try to dress up a little bit. It's always fun. This, so this is Brooks Brothers, um, and this is regular fit, non iron. And I'm going to probably stop picking up a lot of the Brooks Brothers because they are below that $25 pr uh, price point. However, this one was my size, and I do like picking up the ones that are my size to wear to work and list. So uh, it kind of fell in that criteria. And it's like a purple and pink check. Um, so that, for, or shirts are all $3.99 for me. Normally, these I get about $15 plus shipping nowadays. Um, they're not like – they were kind of bread and butter in my old model, and now they're going to kind of just be phased out. But they're still worth picking up, so you can get at the right price point. And here is Ex Officio. This is a fishing brand. I love picking up this brand. I don't find it a ton. 
this is just a vented um, fishing shirt, long sleeve, kind of like the Columbia PFG stuff. Uh, it's a little more of a niche brand. This, I usually can get $25 for these pretty easily. Um, picked it up for $3.99. And then I found, let's see what else we got here. Found this blazer, like suit jacket. Um, just a Ralph Lauren, it's a silk and wool blend. It's the green label Ralph Lauren. It's size 44, it's a long, but it's like this really, uh, really neat kind of like light, it's almost like a light teal and gray. Um, so with the color way like that, I think it'll do pretty well. And uh, it usually can get 40 to $50 for these and pick this up for $4.99 and usually can ship a flat rate for, you know, $5.99. I'm gonna jump in the chat here, just make sure not missing anything. Yeah, someone just said that uh, Brooks Brothers takes a long time for them to sell. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're, they're a long tail item for sure. Um, I don't think they are, I don't, they're not something I move off the shelves fast, so. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Donna says, Shannon's gonna have to put some makeup on me for the wedding. Yeah, that's what we did for the engagement picture, just put a little bit of cover up on there, and uh, it was no big deal. And Tino said the Spiries will sell for 35 to 40. So thanks, Tino, for that. It helps me with the pricing. Um, let's see. Someone said, just curious, do you use a cashback card to pay for your shipping and eBay fees? Um, I don't. I use PayPal, um, just like straight cash for my balance for that. So I haven't done that. I, it's a really good strategy, though, honestly. Um, Especially if you can get a business, like so it depends like how you have your stuff set up. Like I have mine as a business account, I have my eBay completely separate for tax purposes. Um, so if I could get a card, a good card like that, and link it to my PayPal account and have the cash back, I think that'd be good. PayPal already offers cash back on their card itself, but they don't on those direct transactions that I've seen. Um, but that would be a really cool way to kind of hedge against your, your shipping costs and, and stuff. That would be nice. Um, all right, let me keep rolling here. Found two other pair of dress pants. Uh, one was a Polo Ralph Lauren pair. And I only pick up Polo Ralph Lauren if it has the pony on the back. If it doesn't have the pony, I don't really grab them. I can get about $25 shipped for these, sometimes up to like 28 ish um, I usually price them at $24.99 plus shipping, and I usually get best offers on these. Very rarely do they sell full price. Um, but again, three, uh, slacks are $3.99. Uh, they're a dollar cheaper than jeans. So at that price point, and you know, they ship flat rate without a problem. So I always grab those. And then these are Hugo Boss. These are definitely <clears throat> a match to like a, a suit, but these were just black dress pants, Hugo Boss. And I've had really good success with the Hugo Boss. I don't know if you can see that. Um, dress pants like this that go to suits. I think a lot of people are looking for them and I think a lot of people just like to wear them too. Um, these actually, I think these are my size. So we'll see with the inseam. Maybe one of those things where I wear them to work and list them as well. Um, but again, three ninety nine, and I usually can get about thirty bucks for these. This specific brand. All right. Next, we are down to the last bag here. Found my other receipt. So this one, this store, I spent seventy eight dollars. So seventy eight twelve. I don't know if you can see that. And I got one, two, three. 16 items, so not too bad. It's a, kind of a bigger haul there. And some of those jeans I've so, showed you were from that. Like these have two two bags of them. Sorry for that beeping. That's I have to change the fire alarm in the new house here. All it's like they were like perfect perfectly on like cue for we were in here for a couple weeks and like all of them since then have started the batteries have died. So I need to go around and uh, change all those batteries out. This is just a Ralph Lauren shirt. And again, these were kind of like my bread and butter items uh, in the previous way I was approaching things. I was getting about $20 shipped for most of these. Very long tail. I have I have probably 100 of them up, I would guess. I'd have to look. I have a lot of them up, though. Um, I'm going to stop sourcing these pretty much just because they're below that $25 uh, price point. However, this one I picked up, it's Seersucker, and it's um, short sleeve, and it's got the pink pony. As we get to spring, this will do really well, this style shirt. Um, and I probably would be able to get 25 shipped for this, honestly. Um, so I just grabbed it just because of that. It also is my size. So again, I kind of give preference to things that are my size. And I know I can probably list and wear. Um, so we'll see. This was a pretty cool find. So it is a John Varvados. It's a, the front is wool and the back is like a, like that nylon 
or whatever. I'm not sure if it's polyester or nylon. But it's just a dress vest. Um, I think these will do pretty well. I didn't look up the price counts, but the unique John Varvados items like in, like this always do pretty well for me. I'm going to shoot for probably around $30 to $35 ship for this. Um, we'll see where we land. But it's an excellent shape. It's got a, like a dark gray Glen plaid, which is a popular pattern right now. So I don't think there'll be too much issues moving that. Also have Greg Norman. <clears throat> I don't ever pick this brand up normally, and not even new with tags very much anymore, ex except if it's a 3XL like this. The retail tag on 65. Um, it's still around this time of year. I feel like it's okay to list that. And I picked it up for $3.99. I'm gonna list. I'm gonna try to get 25 bucks for it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend picking this brand up even new with tags very frequently. But the 3X stuff will, like the bigger, bigger sizes like that, will do. Will do okay. Uh, here's a Hugo Boss shirt, and this is uh, like a black check. Uh, happens to be my size, which is even better. Um, and if I don't wear that purple shirt, I'll end up wearing this shirt tomorrow. Shannon will make the final call. She always does, based on what she's wearing. I think she's wearing black, so I mean, I probably can get away with wearing anything. Um, but again, uh, these I usually get $25 shipped for, uh, Hugo Boss shirts. They are very slow sellers. Most of the stuff I pick up is long tail. I mean, clothing in general is fairly long tail, except for a discrete amount of really hot brands. Um, you just, it's just having, for me, it's always been having volume, waiting on the right price point, continue to source new items, and that's kind of how I've been able to move my clothing a little quicker. Uh, here is Donald Trump, which I guess this stuff's still selling okay. This is a signature collection, non-iron. It is a contrast collar. It's like a unique teal bluish with the white like banker's collar and the French cuffs. Um, I've sold one of these probably two months ago maybe. For, it was a blue one for like $28 shipped. So took a shot on it, $3.99. Looked okay. The challenge with those is getting the collars that are all white, making sure there's no fading or anything on the neckline. I have a really hard time. I find them a lot but most of the time either like on the French cuffs itself or on the collar is faded or you know tarnished a little bit from discoloration. So I usually pass on. But that one seemed to be pretty clean. However, thrift store lighting, you know how that is. You think it's clean, you get it home, you put it on your white lights and get start to take pictures, and you're like, oh, oh, how did I miss that? Uh, here's the last item. Uh, just another like suit jacket, blazer type item. Uh, so it's green label, Ralph Lauren, 46 regular, so a bigger size, which is nice. Uh, if I can find 48 or bigger, it's even better. Um, and this is a silk wool with a houndstooth. It's like a brown houndstooth pattern. Uh, these do pretty well. I actually sold a 48 short version that looked just like this the other day for $55 shipped. Um, I was in this for $4.99. Again, long tail, but this is going to be what I start to build my foundation off of, continuing to build, I should say. There's a lot more of these type of items. A long tail, but it's okay. Um, getting those hits for $40, $50, $60 dollars at a time is uh, more, than, more than worth the wait. So that's what I got for you guys, except I want to show you the home run here. So if you did not see it on Instagram, I found a... Milton Bradley, Jumanji, uh, vintage board game. I'm hoping all the pieces are in it. I still need to do an inventory on it. Even if it's missing a few pieces, it'll still sell fine. Comps looked anywhere from $70 to $100 when I quickly looked. I'll have to do a little more deeper research. But with the movie coming out, I have a feeling these are going to be pretty hot. So a really good timing to find that. I paid $3.99. Um, I actually met another reseller uh, who he sells a lot of stuff on Instagram while I was there. And I literally picked it up as he was walking from a different place and saw it. So I felt kind of bad, but not bad enough to give it to him. Sorry. <laughs> um, but so we were chatting about that a little bit and just that kind of the vintage stuff. He sells a lot of vintage stuff on Instagram. He actually doesn't sell on eBay at all, which is interesting. Um, it sells almost exclusively on Instagram, which is a cool conversation. But so that was it, guys. That was my haul. Um, I will answer some questions now. Hopefully you guys have been finding some good stuff to close out the year. I'm trying to stock up a lot since the weddings in January. I'm trying to get as much inventory as I can now. That way I can be listing ahead and then list to catch up at the end of the month so I don't miss my first I don't want to miss my goals for the first month out of the out of the gate, you know. Ronnie's in the chat from Hearts Pickers. If you aren't following his channel, you should be. What's going on, Ronnie? Uh, let's see. So someone said, Sherry says, I use the PayPal business debit card so it comes out of the same account, but it gets 1% cash back, so it's kind of nice. Oh, that's such a great tip, Sherry. Wow. I would not have thought about that. Yeah. I mean, when I'm paying $600 to $1,000 in fees a month, uh, I mean, 1% back on that's pretty pretty nice. Um, better than nothing. Okay. That's, 
Thank you, Sherry. That's a great tip. So what she's saying is use the, you can use your business PayPal, business PayPal debit card, which has the 1% cash back, but you can actually opt to pay your eBay fees and your shipping fees using that. So I'll have to check out how easy that is to automate. Um, so someone said, are you going to increase your shipping fee to go in line with the PO increase January 21st? Um, I haven't come up with any, I'm not sure yet to answer your question, Donna. Um, right now I've been charging flat rate shipping for everything. I've just been charging $5.99. So, and that's just a part of my different pricing strategy I've been using since pretty much September. And that's just kind of because it's like whatever the flat rate envelope price is, I can fit 90% of my inventory in one of those, except for like a suit or you know something really big. So I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Is, uh, Ronnie's in the chat. He charges shipping. What are you going to do about the uh, – are you going to change – do you do calculate shipping, Ronnie, or are you going to change your pricing in line with the USPS hike? I think if Tino's still in the chat, I'd be interested to see what he's doing too from the shoe side of things. Uh, Gertrude just said – how long do you consider long tail one year? Yeah, I, I would say one year is long tail. That's probably about like I think 12, 18 months, 12 to 18 months on certain things. Like I would sit on a suit that I know I can get 150 bucks for for 18 months and not feel bad about that. Um, space isn't a concern for me, especially now in our new house. So it's like I have a detached garage for my inventory plus some attic space that's like right by my eBay room here. It's walk-in. Um, so yeah, I, I don't mind having the long tail. Um, Ronnie is pre-cooking dinner for 20 people. Holy cow. Uh, Ronnie is saying I have a I have a flat rate. I have not checked what it was going up. Yeah, I'm the same boat, Ronnie. I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I'll cross that bridge just when we get closer to January 20th to see what the impact is. Um, I mean, at the end of the day though, it's like, you can get a price for your item and peep buyers are including what they're willing to pay with the shipping costs. So it's like you can either pass it on to the shipping and maybe lower your prices or maybe just add a dollar across the board to all your shipping. Um, if you do free shipping, which is what I used to do, then you just need to adjust your pricing in general to accommodate for it. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Yeah, the, the increases are publicized. I've seen a lot of people uh, post them. I just haven't really put a lot of thought into if I'm going to do anything to combat it or not. And guys, let's say we got almost 60 watching live. We only have 15 likes. If you don't mind, hit that like button for me. I'll just let YouTube know this content was valuable and uh, encourages me to make some more videos for sure. Uh, someone just said, how much you earn this end of the year as a part-time reseller, if you don't mind? <clears throat> no, I don't mind at all. I actually just did a results video, my last one, discussing that. Uh, so I basically came in just under $57,000 of gross sales and about 50, or my exact percentage right now was 57% net profit uh, pre-tax. So, you know, just for round numbers, just a little over $30,000 of net profit uh, as a part-time reseller. So, um... I wanted to do, I was shooting for 100K this year and fell well short just because of some other decisions I made on the real estate side, which I'm totally happy with. But so yeah, that's kind of, that's my results for 2017. Um, let's see. So flat rate envelope, someone says going, from, going to 635 instead of, pretty sure the flat rate envelope is 595 right now. The cardboard one. Um, so if it's only going to 635, that's only a 40 cent increase. That's not too bad. Oh, padded flat rate. Padded flat rates. So the padded flat rate is going from 650 to 710 then, if it's going up 60 cents. So Muse said, going in 2018, I want to move away from free shipping and charge shipping, especially for high-end items. Hope my sales won't decrease. Yeah, Muse, I mean, I was free shipping forever. Ronnie lectured me, not lectured me, but kept telling me that I was crazy for doing free shipping for you know well over a year and a half. I finally made the switch in September and I have not regretted it since I've done it. It's been great. Um, I honestly, I don't think eBay rewards us enough for the free shipping to go that route in my opinion right now. Uh, Teresa said, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to make videos. I've learned a lot and hopefully I will be opening my store clo close to February. Oh, no problem, Teresa. I'm glad you're learning a lot. I mean, that's why that's the whole goal of these videos is that hopefully you can share a little bit about what I'm doing and then other people can share with me what they're doing. I mean, I've learned just as much from the people watching these videos as uh, hopefully that I've, I've taught them. So I appreciate the kind words, though, for sure. 
And uh, the Josie said, sold my first Peter Millar shirt I picked up since watching your videos. Nice. I love Peter Millar. Peter Millar is a great, great brand. Uh, someone just asked, do you still have the quality time to your fiance since you work a lot? I'm asking about time management. Yeah. Um, one of the goals I did hit uh, for 2017 was kind of that work-life balance. Um, I get to spend a lot of time with her. And um, now that I'm doing consulting during the, as my day job instead of like working for a company necessarily like full-time, <laughs> Um, the consulting, the eBay and the real estate kind of is nice. And we get to do the real estate side of things together. Like we renovated the townhouse we're renting. We're going to be doing any of our future uh, real estate purchases. We're going to be doing those together. So it's some nice time to work on something together. Um, and yeah, we're getting married here shortly. So I was excited about that too. And like Ronnie said, there's always something to learn. There's no doubt about that. I'll take a couple more questions, guys, and then I'm going to wrap up because I do need to keep listing and I need to get a workout in tonight. Um, any other questions you guys have? I have to say I am a little inspired to check the hard goods more often after finding the Jumanji board game. I just uh, – like this thing, I was looking at it, it just caught my eye, and only because of the movie is the only reason. And then I started looking at the comps. I'm like, holy crap, like I need to be looking at – Looking a little more, just like I need to just start passing by the hard goods to see if stuff catches my eye. Not really like spend a ton of time there, but. <laughs> Thanks, Justin said. Uh, good to see that the sky is healing up nicely. Looking forward to 2018. Me as well. I am looking forward to 2018. My business plan's like 99% done. Just doing some formatting. I will be going live on Monday on New Year's Day. I probably won't have any, I won't do a video tomorrow, but I will be live on Monday to do uh, cover my new business plan and, and kind of all the areas and what I have on deck. So I'm pretty excited about it. Ryan said he sold on Amazon new a few weeks ago. Nice, a new one. That's crazy. Someone said there's a site that lists parts for board games. Yeah, I'm sure that there is. I mean, people probably part these out like when they have incomplete games and then people who have incomplete games are looking for parts to complete them. So that makes sense. Uh, Beach Town Reseller said, love the nighttime lives. Could you listen to AM? Good. I'm glad. Like I think it's six, almost 6.30 PM right now. So Summer said, thanks for the inspiration to sell. No problem. Hopefully you guys can see that, you know, even as a part-time reseller, you can, you can do some decent volume that makes a difference in your life. I mean, netting, I'm, Netting about an extra thirty thousand dollars to have in your life each year, like that's that's a pretty for me at least. I mean, that's a pretty substantial amount of money for me to do stuff with. So, um, if you if you dedicate the time to get the systems in place, you can do it part time and and make a a significant in, impact on your life for sure. Ronnie, said, oh thanks, Ronnie. I will let you know. I'll shoot you a DM, Ronnie, if I if I'm short any parts. I need to do an inventory uh, on it and you know kind of pull up in the guidebook online and look and see what I'm missing. I haven't even busted it open yet. It was three ninety nine, so I just grabbed it regardless. Uh, Adam, no, no snow here in Charlotte. Thankfully, it's been pretty chilly though for here. I'm kind of soft now. I'm two years removed, well, two and a half years removed from the Northeast, and uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty soft now. It's like it gets down to like the twenties, and I'm like, this is this is awful. Like I just want to be inside. <laughs> um, someone just asked if I can share a template of my business plan. Sure, that's not a problem. Um, I can definitely do that. I, I honestly, the best thing I can recommend for a template for a business plan is to listen to Peter Voog's um, Six Months to Six Figures book. You can listen to it or you can uh, read it, buy it. Um, but it's like, that's where I learned to do kind of a lot of my strategic business planning from. It's super simple, super straightforward. You basically just, you rank your high level goals you want, you know, like I'm gonna sell X amount this year or I want to, you know, list this many items this year. And then you just break it down into monthly, weekly, and daily tasks, like reverse engineer it to get to that goal. But yeah, I definitely can share that's not a problem. Just shoot me an email and I can, I'll send you it. Um, Sherry said, another money saver pirate ship has top rated shipping rates if you aren't top rated. Huh. Let's see. No, don't send any cold weather down here. People send, they send cold air. I don't want any more cold air. Charlotte Hornets, someone said, when I was 20, this was my favorite NBA team. Yeah, Charlotte Hornets been a little disappointing this year, unfortunately. I, don't, I, I was expecting more out of them, but 
Sadly, when I when they signed Dwight Howard, I was like, oh, that's the beginning of the end for this season. So he's just been a team killer everywhere he's went. Uh, someone said, have any tips for selling Blazers? Uh, you know, sport coats, suit jackets. I mean, best tips I can give is to buy based on brand, pattern, and material. Um, you know, those are really the three big criteria that have made the difference for me in size. And avoid buying, avoid buying non-matching suit jacket tops if they're like pinstriped. You know, because suit jackets, you know, when they're different patterns like houndstooth and glen plaid and um, you know window pane, you can wear those with a non-matching pair of pants, but you can't really wear something pinstripe very easily and pull it off with non-matching. <laughs> Ronnie said, Hard "Hornets suck." MJ is the greatest basketball player and the worst owner. Yeah, it's. Uh, it was. I thought they were really going in the right direction, Ronnie, last year. I mean, when they got Kaminsky out of the draft and. They definitely were going more towards like that swing four, swing five type offense. Lots of shooters with Kemba, you know, slashing and dishing. I thought they were really heading in the right direction. And then they got Dwight, and I'm like, what are they doing with Dwight? It doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you want a static center to slow your game down? It doesn't make any sense. Someone just said 60 degrees in Florida right now, sweater weather. <laughs> yeah, I would kill for 60 degrees in Florida. Uh, Justin, will you be doing more with your website in 2018? That's a great question. I've been pondering that. Um, it's really, it's really hard because I communicate the best with everyone via Instagram and YouTube. Really, the website was honestly just because I was answering like 50 to 70 emails a week to send a template to them that I was using for that listing template. So like I literally just started that so that I wanted to blog, but I just don't do well with long form content. Um, and so I really just been a placeholder for people to go and download like the listing templates and the things like that uh, to kind of free up some of my time. So I'd like to do more of that. I just don't know what to do. So if anyone has any ideas or things that would be of value, let me know. Um, but I mean, I'm going to keep it running and keep it up. It's not very expensive to keep it up now that it's built. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I want it for the future because I may, may do something with it, uh, especially with a new series I'm going to start doing with the uh, kind of reselling to real estate. Um, I'll be kicking off here in January. Uh, so that'll be cool. It'd be nice to have some of that on the website. Uh, but yeah, that's short, long answer to a short question. All right, guys, I am going to wrap up. Um, it is 6.30. I'm going to get some listings done. Uh, I appreciate everyone stopping in and watching live and you know hitting that like button for me. Hope everyone has an awesome New Year's. Hopefully you celebrate and everyone's safe and has a good time. And I will be back live on Monday, January 1st of the new year to uh, talk about my business plan and what's on tap for you guys with this channel and for me and just everything. So have an awesome night, guys. We will talk soon. And again, uh, quickest way to get a hold of me is via uh, direct message on Instagram. Follow me at Endless Entrepreneurs. And if you don't have Instagram, you always can email me. Uh, email's in the description below. See you guys.